back again. Today I'm filming a, another viewer request by uh, Kayla Alexis. She asked for, well, I assume she's a she. Uh, that viewer asked for a video on baboon care. You might ask what qualifies the tarantula as a baboon. Basically all baboons hail from the dark continent, which is Africa, and they have a nasty reputation for being aggressive and highly venomous and all this nasty stuff, but really they are just a beautiful tarantula that's been misunderstood. So I have some examples of terrestrial and arboreal, ground and tree dwelling. I'm going to start with this Ceratogyrus darling eye. And this is one of my favorite baboons. This is the horned baboon and I've raised this animal up from a very small sling. And I recently did a, uh, a long video on this species and I just think it's super duper cool that they have that horn on their back. And I mean, what's cooler than a neat scary animal with a horn? Next I will show you Pelanobius muticus. And this is one of the few teas that I have right now that I'm experimenting a different substrate with. And uh, I don't know if you can see her or not. She was out just a minute ago, which is why I turned this around. You can see that I have some cocoa fiber mixed with the vermiculite. And she is constantly reorganizing her house and doing all kinds of nutty things, which I think is cool and adorable. Next, I have... OBT or Terina Kylis Murinus, and you can see what a lovely redhead she is. This animal is actually one that I have reproduced from a young age. Well, obviously, she was hatched out in my care, has grown up and reproduced. Many people have the misconception that these African species, since they hail from such a dry continent, need to be kept very dry. But the reality is, is that they hide from the heat and the dry air by going underground. So they really need more moisture than people might assume. This is a young Terina Kylis cordatus, same genus as the OBT. And you can see this little one just molted. And I know that a few people have commented that I do not keep them in deep enough substrate, yada, yada, yada. But the reality is I have kept this family of tarantulas and many, many tarantulas for a lot of years. And the fact that I am reproducing and raising up animals to adulthood indicates to me that I'm not doing anything wrong. This is a Torino Kylis lugardi. And you can see it's just a little one. And when these babies grow up a little bit more, I'll do a care video on them. But I think it's nice for them to grow up a little bit so you can kind of see what they're going to grow into because many people try to decide if that, that's an animal they might want to invest in. And if they can't really see what it's going to be, that's a hard decision. I had this little container in the Lugardi tank. And that is because that is what he or she was in before. And when I went to rehouse, he didn't really want to come out, so I just put him in there, and then he's kind of made that his little home, so I've let him keep it. It's not going to hurt anything. This is a couple of examples of arboreal baboons. This is Heteroscodra maculata, known as the H-Mac. And this is a spider with a nasty reputation, but I think she's just wonderful, and again, I have raised and reproduced this species uh, personally, and I had an amazing amount of offspring from all of my females, and so that was a whole lot of fun. This is a large arboreal container. This would be a small arboreal container and a medium. In here, I have a Stromatopelma calciatum. Again, this is another one with a fearsome reputation, and it's not completely undeserving. This is not an animal that you would want to be bitten by. There are some pretty heavy duty predators in Africa. As I mentioned, all of the species that come from the old world, which would be Australia, of course, India, Africa, do tend to be a little more flighty, venomous, because they do come from such hostile environments. This was my baboon tarantula care video. As you can see, it's very close to my regular tarantula care video. I would say have your nets 
handy. These are usually a fast. I like that they're old world because I am somewhat sensitive to urticating hairs and because they're faster, more ornery, and more venomous. They do not have the defense mechanism of urticating hairs, which I love because I'd rather have to um, move quickly than have the agitation of urticating hairs all over me for the rest of the night. That just drives me bonkers. You can see crickets, vermiculite, space, be dedicated, be considerate. This was my baboon care video. Kayla Alexis. I hope this answers some of your questions. Any of you, if you have more questions, as always, make sure to comment, message me, email me, deadlytarantulagirl at yahoo.com, Facebook me, whatever you like. And I hope you guys subscribe and I'll see you soon.